Okay, so in this video we want to show you the center section breakdowns of a standard pump, an auto block pump, and an AccuFlow pump. So you notice they all pretty look uh, they all pretty much look the same. There are some similarities and some differences. So let's go ahead and point those out. First thing we'll notice, they all use the same center block. They're all the same. The only distinguishing differences is going to be whether or not it has a pilot spool plug or whether it has a pilot spool assembly. Real easy to tell, the pilot spool assembly will have a pilot spool in it. So the pilot spool is contacted by the piston. As the piston hits it here, it tells the spool whether to go up or down. That's for a traditional pump, which is this section here. Traditional pump uses a muffler plate, medium-sized air valve bolts, an air valve, an air valve gasket, center block with a pilot spool assembly. These are the nuts that hold the, the air valve together. So it has a pilot spool assembly, making it a P1 pump. So the auto block pump, in lieu of a pilot spool assembly, you would remove the pilot spool assembly from the center section, pull that out, replace it with a plug. That simply goes in the center section, you put a snap ring in there to secure it in place, and you hook up the auto block to it. Auto block has the same air valve as the standard pump, so same air valve gasket. The block now just has two push-in fittings. That is controlled by a five-way external solenoid valve that pressurizes this port or this port. If it's this port, it goes to that side. If it's this port, it comes to this side. Very simple operation. A1B auto block. P1, then we get into the A1P, P for ProFlow. So the way this works, uses the same muffler plate. It has longer air valve bolts to accommodate for the much thicker ProFlow center block, right? Uses the same air valve as a standard pump, but instead of the pilot spool assembly telling the air valve when to shift, this is solenoid actuated. So a solenoid energizes and de-energizes. You send a pulsing signal to the coil, the coil energizes or de-energizes, and tells, tells the assembly when to shift the air valve. So equal pulsed, signal shifts that air valve. So let's take a look at that. So here we have the air valve assembly, right? If you remove the four screws on the top, that'll give you access to it. So if you look on the top, there are two ports. On the top of the controller, there are two ports. When this is energized, one gets pressurized, when it's de-energized, the other gets pressurized. And that sends a signal to the block to open up the ports for the air valve. Very simple assembly. Simply add in the one additional piece. We add in one additional piece between your center block and your air valve, and you feed it with electrical current going towards the coil. There are three coil options available, 12 volt, 24 volt, 110 volt. We have them in AC, DC, also ATEX rated for metal pumps and intrinsically safe for other model pumps. But that is the AccuFlow traditional and auto block pump.